But first, we have breaking news. A frantic search for missing little girl with autism is now over. Turns out the nine year old was in the very same apartment building where she lives. Seven Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in Royal Oak where everyone is breathing a sigh of relief at this point. So how was she found, Brian? Yeah, the best outcome possible for the nine year old missing for more than five hours when she was found after being heard and then seen dangling out a third story window. Found and she's safe and she's uh, been reunited with her mother. Nine year old Monique Woods found after an extensive search with multiple police agencies, both in the air and on the ground for the young girl who is nonverbal and autistic, searching every car, tree, bush, in just about every apartment in the area. She was found in the same apartment complex in which she lived, uh, a flight or two above the apartment, and we actually heard a noise and she was hanging out of a window of, a, of an empty apartment. Police say no one was home at that apartment when they knocked earlier. After seeing her, they forced entry. She seemed fine. She seemed like to be looking down to see what was going on. Police say she is fine, but since she was alone in that apartment for so long, they want to make sure she is okay and didn't injure herself or come into contact with anything harmful. This is a happy ending for everyone. And many on our Facebook page question why an Amber Alert was not issued. Police tell us that it did not fit the very specific criteria for Amber Alert, though they did use the same system to have an endangered missing alert for lo local area law enforcement as well as us, the media. Reporting live in Royal Oak, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, I know this little girl was missing for like five hours. Do they have any idea how she could get into an empty apartment, let alone be dangling out of a window? Yeah, we're, we're told that uh, she was somebody that was looking after her was gone for mere minutes and went for not even a minute. And when they turned around, she was out the door. The door was open uh, and it's still unclear whether she went right up to that apartment at first and then closed and locked the door herself or not. But hey, uh, she is safe and sound at this point. Thank goodness she is safe and sound. Thank you, Brian, for the live report.